you are not a real man of God. Hmm. The Celestial Church of Christ, the body of the Celestial Church of Christ, have come for a popular Nigerian pastor and they are saying that he is not a man of God because no man of God is going to utter the kind of statements that he uttered. So I'm just going to get right into the gist and tell you what is going on. Um, Pastor David Ibiemo of the Salvation Ministries, um, based in Port Accord, opened up recently one of his sermons. He mentioned that he has issues with white garment churches around the world. He made a statement while actually addressing his um, church members. He said that white garment church officials use demonic sounds and other rituals to alter children's destinies, making them to act strange. He continued by describing how someone's name, this is Pastor David describing it, saying how someone's name might be placed in a bottle and a prophet would recite incantations um that a prophet to recite incantations until that person is struck or becomes intoxicated i'm going to tell you what he said in court he says do you know why i hate white garment churches people don't know why i hate them if you know what they do you will never like them they can take your surname and put it inside a bottle of gin and make incantations this was um the statement that pastor david made um to his congregation and of course that's packed um reactions from nigerians people saying what you just said is very senseless and it's very inciting um itoro says this is a meaningless sermon and trying to mislead innocent members and olani yaremu says don't just open your mouth anyhow because you have the opportunity of being heard by numerous people. Um, Akim Mushewe Nathaniel now says, I don't know why some people call themselves men of God don't focus on their own ministry than putting mouth on what doesn't matter to them. Even may ask, what about all the prophecy you people have been saying up and down? But I'm not just, I'm not here to even tell you what people are saying. I'm here to give you the reaction and um, the response that the Celestial um, Church of Christ Worldwide has, you know, fired back at um, Pastor David after he expressed his hate for the church over their incantations. And so I don't, I mean, over basically their practices and their, you know, way of life. Now, um... Responding to the allegations, the celestial churches have actually debunked the claims that they carry out incantations on the name of people, saying that every prophet of the celestial church hates alcohol, contrary to what Pastor David had to say. This is the statement that they um, that they put out, and I'm just going to read it to you, and then we can in the comment section, you know, talk about it and digest it and just make sense of you know where both parties are coming from. Because if you know anything about the Christian um, at least as it is practiced here in nigeria there's a lot of um different doctrines different doings by different denominations and different churches and um, there is the pentecostal the celestial you know we just have the different churches and all that so i want all of us to now come dissect because it's been a trending topic or a topic that has constantly been um swept under the carpets for lack of a better word people have, people have different different opinions and each person believes that their own school of thought is the best so let's just have constructive you know conversation surrounding this in the comment section but before then let me just read what um celestial church of christ put out in response to pastor david's bmo statement their statements read and i proceed Pastor David Ibiyemo of the Salvation Ministries in a viral video professed his hatred for white garment churches. He adduced his reasons to the fact that some celeb prophets, according to him, put the name of people's children in Kai Kai and chant incantations, demonic psalms, according to him, prophesying that these children never amount to anything by being alcoholics. Well, Sela is not a generic name for um, white garment churches and there are denominations even in white garment churches. So only he knows the white garment prophet he encountered where the name of his children was dipped in the gene. In every celestial church parish, every service day, it is always read to the hearing of everyone how the church forbids alcohol drinking as the odor of it repunges the presence of the Holy Spirit, which is copiously enshrined in the constitution of the church. 
Hence, every prophet worth his salt in CCC abhors alcohol as a drink, much less as a spiritual formula for any kind of prayer. Aside from that, the Bible as a compendium has just a book of Psalm, which is 150 pages. Having been privileged to read that book from the beginning to the end, I didn't come across any part of it that can be classified as demonic, according to Papa Ibiyeme. Excuse me. Perhaps what need to enroll in Salvation Ministries Bible School to be taught how Psalms are used for demonic purposes. Pentecostal pastors have made it a past time to froth in the mouth despising white garment churches and their practices, whereas many of these practices they now regard as charismatics were practices popularized by these white garment churches that they themselves have copied even though they once criticized them. Meanwhile, when it comes to unwholesome Christian practices, they themselves have to pay the un- unscrupulous ones in our white garment churches as an out of the charts in religious scandals out there in the public domain. Just recently, many of their colleagues were falling over themselves, dishing out one false prophecy after the other about the recently concluded election, a move that turned the church into a butt of jokes in our nation papa himself was guilty here and he has never deemed it a feat as a permanent ccc worldwide one wrote i put to you that you are not a true man of god and you definitely worship your father the devil celestial church of christ is nothing close to what you said may god forgive you and open your eyes Yes, so this is what the Celestial Church um, of Christ worldwide responded with, saying that the Celestial Church of Christ is not a party or um, does not practice whatever it is that Papa mentioned. Did you see the subtle hint there of him actually making prophecies that did not come to fruition? concerning the recently concluded general election in nigeria uh i would love for us to you know dissect this in the comment section share your thoughts your opinion ccc worldwide worldwide has responded to the founder of salvation ministries in um, podacord they've responded to him and him you know expressing his disgust and absolute hate for the celestial church and you know everything in between so i will be waiting for you in the comment section guys let's meet let's make it very interactive um um, yeah i'm going to see you in the next one until then people of god um <laughs> take care of yourselves and of course let's make it constructive though let's not you know first further you know just sow the seed of discord and disunity and missed us um until the next video um yours truly <laughs> much love i will see you then bye